Hi everyone, this is Eric Chabot here. I am at The Ohio State University, which is one of the largest college campuses in the entire nation. You know, I just want to address something that comes up on a regular basis. We run an apologetics ministry at The Ohio State University, which is used to help students explain the what and the why of what they believe. Therefore, when they say, what I believe is that Jesus died for my sins and rose from the dead, I can now explain why I actually believe that's true or why I think that happened in history. So the what and the why go together there. But you know, something that comes up a lot is that what is it like here to deal with the Christians? What are the Christians like on campus? Are they really apologetically inclined? Do they, are they interested in apologetics? Do they have a background in learning about what they believe and why they believe? Are they becoming more skeptical on the campus? Well, let me address that in this clip. Well, yes, uh, there are some Christians on the campus who do have an interest in apologetics. Obviously, there's some Christians that don't care about apologetics. And yes, it is true that in many cases, many Christians do hear questions on the campus that challenge their faith, and in many cases, some of them do walk away from the faith. Now, I don't have to go into Bible verses and talk about all the different passages that talk about people leaving the faith, whether they believe to begin with or not, but what I'm concerned about is that we have opportunities in our own churches to be teaching our young people reasons why to actually believe our worldview is true and why Jesus is the Son of God. We have resources out there that can equip people about these issues. One of my burdens is obviously to help local congregations to answer those questions and to help equip their people so that when they come into a university setting, they really have a strong foundation in what they believe and why they believe. I have found over the years that one of the biggest obstacles in teaching apologetics in the local congregation is that many ministry leaders say we don't need it. You know, we need to focus on issues such as how to be a better witness or how to focus on social justice issues or this issue and that issue. And let me just say, all those issues do matter, but it seems to me, if you looked around the culture today, that there is a large, large emphasis on finding reasons not to believe in the Christian worldview. You can go on the internet, watch videos, you can just go anywhere over social media. There is plenty of pushback against the biblical worldview. Many young people go on the internet, watch YouTube clips, get their information, and in many cases they go to their parents or youth leaders or pastors with questions and they're told either to not ask questions, to just have faith, or they're told, well, we won't get all the questions answered in this life. They may just say, well, maybe this really isn't even true. I mean, my family members or my ministry leaders don't even know why they believe in what they believe, so why should I? And so there are good resources out there to deal with these issues, and I am certainly offering myself and what we do here as a resource to any local congregation, any ministry leader. We have more than enough resources to help you and your congregation, your people, be equipped in knowing what they believe and why they believe. So feel free to contact me at by email or go on my blog. It's called thinkapologetics.com. You can find me on there and contact me there. It's called thinkapologetics.com or my other website, which is called cjfm.org, cjfm.org and you can find me there as well. I hope to hear from you and I hope to be able to make a difference to you and your congregation. Have a good day.